And so, you know, like I said, there's there's multiple virtual groups that you that you can join. Uh, Prop City Community Outreach, which is the organization that initially helped me and that I am now a proud, uh, a proud, there was the accent, a proud uh, board member of. Um, they put on a beautiful, you know, virtual group. It's a mama chat, and it's like, you know, we grieve because they existed. We grieve because we love them. You know, yes. it's it's really powerful to be in a room with other beings that. Under, just understand what you're going through without even without words. Did I think I would be here two years ago? Like when my son transitioned, not necessarily. You know, I, I didn't know what was it. Uh, but I do think it's important. Like self-care becomes such a big part of healing. Um, Speak on it. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, I say that in grief, I became a yes person, actually, but also, like, my no's became stronger. Seriously, for me, it's like boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. I cannot work from scarcity anymore. I cannot work from a place where I am depleted just so that I can pour into someone else. I'm having a conversation about the workplace with her. And her looking at me, and this is why this this younger generation is even more powerful. She said, you're perpetuating the things that happen in the workplace, mom. And I was like, what? And I had to sit <laughs> with that. I literally had to sit with that. Like, here's this 20-something-year-old woman telling me that I am perpetuating what's happening in the workplace. Let's talk about it. How am I doing that? I'm doing that by mm -hmm. not showing up authentically. I'm doing that when I don't speak up or I feel like I cannot speak up because I might lose my job. But now yeah. I see it as if I lose my job, that's, that is what needs to happen because I'm not going to stand for, for discrimination. I'm not going to stand for uh, anything against anything.